This right here is only the smallest pyramid, and this right here is coral stone. Now, if you see, the reason why it's called coral stone is because it looks a lot like coral because it's from the sea. Now, if you look right here, it's actually burnt, and something destroyed it. It's already crumbling. Now, if you look right here, here's my question. This is one of the hardest stones on the earth, and here's my question. How could they make a mark right here so overly shaped that no other machine can do? You need a diamond head to cut through this. Now here's my question. How could they do this? And how could they bring all and how could they bring all the granite all the way to the top with with such precise calculation that if one that if one millimeter was off, the entire thing would have crumbled. How can they do that? But nothing crumbled. O the only thing that crumbled is the stuff that got burnt and destroyed. If you look at this, this is granite. Now, if you now it looks perfectly reddish at the top, but if you look right here, it's completely burnt, and you can actually see some holes because it's been crumbled and destroyed. Now, if you look all the way from there to there, the middle pyramid, this one right here. Snap, I lick them. Now, right now, what I'm talking about is the pyramid's tunnels. Now, if you see, when you go under the Sphinx left hand, you're going to see a tunnel that leads all the way to there. And there's actually something. If you go inside the Great Pyramid of Giza, you're going to see a bunch of tunnels, including the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber. I even saw some air shafts from those small pyramids and that pyramid right there. Now, if you look right there, you can actually see tunnels that they tried to cover up. The tunnels lead to all the other pyramids because if you make pyramids, why would you not want to, why would you not want to make a pyramid, a tunnel that goes all the way to them what, so you don't have to walk all the way to each pyramid, right? And, and Pharaoh and, and Pharaoh and his people use this to go all the way, from, and Pharaoh used this to go all the way to each pyramid by just going into the secret entrance right next to the Sphinx's left hand, inside the Sphinx's left hand. Now, if you go to the Sphinx and look at the back, if you go to the Sphinx and look at the back, you're actually gonna see an air shaft right at the bottom of its back. If you look there, you're gonna see an air shaft. Now, if you go inside that air shaft, it's gonna lead you to all the other pyramids. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.